This is introduction to the super copier desktop 8 NVMe U2 ports drive cloning and erase unit. The unit is built in with 8 NVMe U2 ports and supplied with 8 U2 extension cables and 8 U2 to M2 NVMe adapters. Also it it's built in with many USB 3.0, 3.1 ports, some in the front and some in the back, one eSATA ports, one USB 2.0 port for keyboard and mice if the user prefers to use those over the touchscreen, and 10 inch touchscreen color display. The unit capabilities are to clone from 1 to 7 NVMe SSD or any other combination of source and target ports, so like cloning 1 to 7, 2 to 6, 3 to 5, 4 to 4. Also, the unit capability is to erase 7 NVMe SSD using the 7 target ports. And also clone and erase USB flash media using the unit's many USB ports. All cloning and erase sessions are run simultaneously at a very high speed. The U2 NVMe ports can be used with M2 NVMe, like we plugged here. But also with U2 NVMe SSDs. Those are very expensive SSDs and they look like 2.5 inch drive, but with 68 pins. To connect those drives, the user will need to remove the M2 adapters from the end of the expansion cable and plug U2 SSD drive directly into the end of the expansion cable. So remove this adapter and plug the drive directly here. Also, the U2 NVMe ports can be used with NVMe PCIe memory cards with the use of some special adapters. Those adapters are not supplied with this unit. The unique thing about NVMe ports is that the BIOS need to recognize the NVMe ports, the unit needs to be powered up with 8 NVMe SSD already plugged in. This step is required once at boot time. After that, the 8 NVMe ports become hot swappable. The cloning and the erase application is the same for all the units. So for now, we plugged already in ports 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 SSDs, and we already powered the, the unit and boot it uh, and boot it up. So let's go first to um, the erase menu and let's go to the erase menu protocols and there is a few protocols here. You have DOD, DOD light, user erase. They are all erasing the media by writing it with zeros but they are not taking advantage of the fact that the drive is logical. For a better and faster logical erase, similar to secure erase for SATA SSDs and sanitized for SAS SSDs, the user can select to erase NVMe SSD from three particular protocols. Let's have a look at the different NVMe erase mode. The erase mode called NVMe format, and the first erase mode from NVMe submenu is NVMe format. which is reformatting the SSD at low level and required to add one pass of verifications just to be NIST certified. The second mode is NVMe Secure Erase, uh, where the firmware of the SSD does the erase internally. And the last mode is NVMe Crypto Erase, when the drive are self-encrypted and the erase achieved by throwing, up, throwing away the encryption key. The data become unusable. That mode is not supported by all NVMe SSDs. So I'm going to select user erase with full verification. Now let's tap on scan drives and we'll see the, we should see the four SSDs being detected in the detection screen. Now, scan drive in this particular model is really needed, even if after booting the unit, the already NVMe show on the detection 
screen the user has to still press on scan drive and, re and, and rediscover them so what we see here is four NVMEs three 500 gigabyte and one terabyte uh, they are all plugged on the target ports and those ports by the way target ports always can be reassigned to be can be reassigned to be source to ports if for cloning purpose now if we tap on the one of the more the number of the SSDs, we can see uh, which protocol the drive is supported, the size of the drive, uh, the interface, uh, some value information. Now let's select all those four to run in four separate sessions. Remember, we, we selected to run um, Let's go back to make sure. Erase, we selected to erase NVMe format, user erase with full verification. Verification is not needed in secure erase, but we really highly recommend it uh, to use it as an extra precaution. Let's go back here. Let's select all the four drives as a target to erase. A pop-up menu coming, a pop-up message coming. You sure you want to erase? I say yes. And run each drive in a separate session. I say yes. Now let's review this, this session screen. You see the load? The load is the amount of data that the application need to be processed. And since we select... Um, to run a full verification. Uh, so 500 gigabyte application need to go twice over the drive will be one TB. And for one terabyte drive, it will be two terabyte PB. That's for secure race. If we run DOD, we have to multiply everything by eight. If we run DOD light, multiply everything by four. Uh, here's the time left, the average speed, the progressions, active error, and you always can go into more and see the messages uh, right now this operation is completed so he's in the verification pass now let's understand the error message here um, we have to wait until the error message will come even if the progression reach a hundred percent for some usb sticks or slow SSD, it will take a little bit time to the green light on the error to come up and the user should wait for it. Make sure that the, all the data has been flashed. Um, some few error messages can be green is pass, red is uh, did not pass with some, there is some errors. Yellow, uh, meaning that the user have to go inside the log and understand what is happened to these sessions. Maybe some drive passed, some drive did not pass if you combine more than one drive into one session. Um, so it's uh, something that the user must go here. I can abort a, a session. I will come as red. I can clean up sessions that are completed from the screen. I can look at drive statistics to see if there is any problematic drive. I can look at the session history and understand what we ran in the past. We can go to Erase database where all the information also been saved. Now let's wait a few minutes to uh, have all those sessions completed. 
a few points. NVMe SSD is very sensitive to noise when performing an extremely high speed. So ensure that all the cables and adapters are connected and secured with supply brackets. Running NVMe at high speed generates a lot of heat, which will reduce their performances. So use external fan to blow air on the SSD. We have a one fan solution that the user can purchase. If the user would like to exit the Super Wiper application, make sure that all the NVMe SSD drives are powered off before. Manually power them off using the power drive icon from the, from the drive screen. So if you want to go, you go here, uh, drive screen the drive screen and you can drive power control and you can shut down the power to them manually if you don't use them. Let's go to the session. You see the speed is extremely high. And in the next video we'll uh, review the cloning capabilities. So two already finished and you see the green light came on the error. The third one is uh, the one terabyte is still running uh, and we don't have to wait for him to finish so we can abort that sessions. And that's the end of this video.